Alright, let's see how this works. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Dominic Mack here with the first ever episode to the Tatted IT Podcast. Um... Let me introduce myself. My name is Dominic Mack. I'm an information systems technician uh, based out of Virginia Beach. Yeah, I'm, I'm the kind of terrible with introductions and everything. Uh, let me try to make it, I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet, I promise you. So Dominic Mack, based out of Virginia Beach, information system technician. Uh, right now, I'm currently with the military right now and going on my, coming up with my fourth year in and just doing a small introduction to my podcast. So the Tatted IT, probably wondering why I call it the Tatted IT. Well, for one reason I call it is because I'm a IT in the in the military. Secondly, I love tattoos and I have a lot of tattoos and everything, um, both my arms. I'm still working on my right arm right now, uh, almost a full sleeve. My left, my left arm is still in progress. I got one of my on my left ankle and you're probably thinking why in the hell would a man a grown-ass man have a tattoo on his ankle well it was a spur of the moment i was on deployment and the dude was doing tattoos for a very low price so i said you know what the hell and i always wanted to have like a 90s theme kind of leg tattoo leg sleeve like everything i liked back then when i was growing up you know i was born in, in the 90s and everything and everything from cartoons to toys that i had to favorite TV shows, favorite games, everything I wanted on my on my leg, my left leg. So anyway, yeah. So that's the reason why I gave the title to TED IT. So the reason behind TED IT is because I want to basically record my journey as I go through the realm of information technology and programming. So um, let me give you more of a professional background of myself. So other than me liking tattoos and all being the military. Um, prior to the military, I went to college for five years at the University of South Carolina. Uh, my major, well, my ending major, the major I left with before I got into the military, and no, I have not finished my degree. I'm on the process of finishing that up right now. So, But my major back then was computer information systems, and I had a minor in business. So I was already into the realm of computer programming, computer science, dabbling in different programming languages and everything. And the reason why I got into IT is because I like that side as well. Like I like the side of working on hardware and software of the computer other than just programming the computer or programming applications and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'd probably be a deadly motherfucker if I learned, you know, both sides of the of the computer, you know. And excuse me if I, you know, if Customers offend you and everything. I apologize. I try to keep that at the minimum. But anyway, I was like, let me be, you know, good on both sides of the spectrum, you know. So that's why I went into the military as an IT. And right now I have, I'm qualified as a Network Plus engineer. I have my CompTIA Network Plus certification. And I also uh, have this certification through Google called the Google IT, IT Support Specialist, which I'm hearing is not really big. As of right now, um, I got it just because it was free and it was easy to get. Um, just because I already had some of the knowledge, I just went through the courses to ref as a refresher, and then it also helped me to get the Network Plus certification. Uh, as of right now, I'm studying for um, my Security Plus exam right now, so that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, that's a small introduction of myself and. I think I really didn't really emphasize on why I made. Let me, let me add more to the reason why I made this podcast. So the reason, like I said again, was to record my journey 
also to you know let so you know I have a lot of thoughts going in my mind especially being you know African American in the information technology field so I have a lot of things that kind of go through my head when it comes to you know seeing more um, African Americans in the field uh, why do I had one a friend of mine or a friend of a friend of mine he was going for an interview for Google and last time I t talked to him he was he said he felt racially profiled because of the fact that he was black and they really didn't think that he knew or had any knowledge in the field of IT but he did have like um, dot net uh, programming experience. He had experience with programming. He had experience with like all the security, uh, administ the administration side. Excuse me for stuttering, and just all around, just the just the bare bones, like everything. Like he hit everything on point when it comes to being an IT. You know, just the just the the, the definition of it, right? So it just got to me to where I was gonna hash that out on my platform, on this platform as well, just to like put out there like why you know why this and why that why the profiling or why there's not enough African Americans in the field or other than that um, you know what's new out there in networking how can we um, grow the culture how can we get the culture big you know in the African American community how can we get it big in the culture in general you know me growing up in a area where a rural area you know I'm a small country boy out of South Carolina you know, I'm stationed in Virginia Beach, but I'm, I, you know, grew up in South Carolina and coming from a school with less than <laughs> like maybe I think I would say less than 700, 800 people being the bigger gra graduate, the being the biggest graduation class in 2010 of 160 people is kind of crazy. And it's, it's surprising enough that a lot of people didn't really know about it. I didn't know about programming and computer science until I got into college, until I saw it and fell in love with it. You know, developing my little my uh, my version of Mario and everything, which I really need to find out where it is because I have it on GitHub, but I have to find it to see if it's still up there. But anyway, just being from a rural area, we really didn't have that avenue. It wasn't that that career path wasn't shown to us, you know. So thank God, my, like thank God, right now my my little brother right now he's trying to you know follow in my footsteps as being a computer programmer right now going to, to a two-year technical school, which I told him to go there because I swear you save a lot more money than going straight to a four-year, but, but anyway, him, you know, following my footsteps, he was exposed to it earlier than I was, especially when his, um, during his senior year of high school, well, junior, leading into his senior year because he got an internship working with, a, um, with one of the teachers there at his high school that wasn't IT and interned with him and everything, so, yeah, that's, you know, I'm kind of, I'm ecstatic that he was exposed to it earlier than I was. But still, I feel like it's a small, small population of people, not even just African Americans, just people in general from rural areas where I come from, small towns where there's just one stoplight and one gas station and a railroad go across through it that are not exposed to that type of careers, that type of career path. So... I think that's another part of my uh, the, another reason why I want to make this podcast is to um, expose people to that. You know, you know, it's you don't it doesn't matter what background you come from. Trust me and believe I've met, I've met a lot of people in the IT field that comes from totally different backgrounds and they made it as an IT didn't know didn't have no knowledge of it at all. Don't even know how to turn a computer. And now they're like big in IT right now. Not big in IT, but they're really good. They're very knowledgeable. And they, they are good what they do, what they do and everything. So, yeah, that's the reason why I made this pod, or that's the reason why I'm making this podcast, and to also flesh out some ideas as well. Um, you know, my biggest thing I want to do with my career, I want to actually get into uh, security. Uh, Network Chuck, which is a big YouTuber that I follow heavily on YouTube, Network Chuck. You know, if you know how to spell network and like a chuck, a chuck, like, you know, chucking something or chuck, uh, not chunk, but chuck, C-U-C-H-U-C-K, excuse me, I can't, it's kind of late right now, my brain is slowly, you know, going down, winding down, but uh, yeah, network chuck, he kind of got me into that, that career, that path, that certain path in IT with security and everything, and I really want to 
get into that field. So I'm kind of focusing on Security Plus and, you know, along with becoming a hacker as well. If I can, you know, that that basically puts, you know, intertwines my programming experience and my IT knowledge now. And it kind of like intertwines that together. You give me the best of both worlds because for a good while when I got in the military, I was away from school for a very long time. So I wasn't really around my computer as much on the programming side. So, you know, it kind of came back to me when I got to my, you know, duty station, my first duty station. And I started dabbling back in code and just, start, you know, working on Code Academy. I was like, oh, wow, you know, just, you know, coding is not leaving me. So might as well just get back into it, you know. So, but yeah, that's the, you know, like I said, the reasons why I made it is to get the word out there, get more people exposed to it, get more African-Americans exposed to it, especially get the culture out there, make the culture interesting and just all around, just have fun and just, just record my journey and everything. Just get it out there, you know, try to either, you know, maybe I teach something here and there just to make sure I get it and make sure you get it. So, you know, it kind of helped both each other out you know i scratch your back you scratch my back you know type of deal so yeah that's the reason why i made this and this would be a mini of one of many many videos that i make um as of right now i have my own blog my blog the name of it is www.thetatted.it that's t-h-e-t-a-t-t-e-d it.com you know i had a had a spell it out because some people had trouble actually um typing it out on the on the browser and everything so the tatted it that's my personal blog um, i'm gonna try to be on there as much as i can <laughs> if i'm not on here i'm on there putting my knowledge out there as well i'm also on linkedin you can look me up at dominic mac that's d-o-m-o-n-i-c-k not n-i-q-u-e not uh, high up, so it's D O M I N I C K or C or whatever. Like, no, it's D O M O N I C K Mac, like Big Mac, but add the K at the end. So, M A C K. And look me up on LinkedIn if you have any questions, um, any topics that you want to talk about. I just want to say, hey, what's up? And you know, I want to hear from your journey as well. You know, I have a lot of questions as well. I'm just this is a way for me to flesh out my questions and just think about, you know, what what's going on in the IT world and everything. So yeah, hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, oh, it also hit me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at the tatted IT. So hit me up on Twitter as well for what questions as well. So uh, right now I used to be on Instagram, but I don't do Instagram no more too, too crowded. TikTok, I'm not really into the video type deal. Maybe I, I make it into that, but yeah, Twitter, LinkedIn, and in my blog, is where I'll be at and everything. So, I say hit me up, give me questions, share your journey. I don't care. Do an interview. I don't care, man. I'm just here to talk. You can see right now. I love to talk. I love to ramble. So, yeah, just you know. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Thank you for coming out, or thank you for listening. I said thank you for coming out. Like I, what the hell? What the fuck? Anyway, like I said thank you for listening, and I see you in the next episode. Peace.